foot. I just dropped it to my foot. It did not feel good. No fun. Don't be taking plates out or we need to get them all back in one piece because these are about $2,500 for jackets. Where are we? Here's that guy. We are at Camp Liberty, right? Camp oh, Liberty. now we're on Victory. Oh, now, now we're at Camp Victory. Victory, okay. And then right here on the left is the uh, General's Quarters. Happy Thanksgiving! Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's so hot. Mary. This is Noel. Hi. And this is Don. This is not the crowd, this is the sound check. Triple duck taking so it doesn't fall off again. This is how we do it in Iraq, right? Oh, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Happy Thanksgiving from the Israeler and That is so cool. Her dad is stationed um, in Taji, which is in Iraq, which is the next base we're going to. He's oh a pilot, and we're about to fly to Taji, and he just surprised her by showing up here um, to meet us uh, to catch our Chinook. That's so cool. They always like them on the same way. I can't Taji. We're we all blurring together. Where are we stay? We're staying at the Taji Mahal. <laughs>
This is Martinez. Juan. Juan. Oh, yeah. That's her head now. Yeah, that's her what I thought about it first. Nice. I had a, like, you know, kind of so so hat, and he hooked me up. That's right. He gave me a big promotion. That's right. <laughs> Been the best out of the day. You went from private to captain <laughs> in 40, what, four hours? Okay. Private to captain in four hours? Yeah. yeah. That's, a big, yeah. that's a record. Our last day in Iraq. Uh, I'm kind of sad to leave. I wish we could stay a little bit longer, um, but we are in Saddam's uh, hunting lodge. So beautiful, but uh, the reason it's like this is because Saddam was a crazy, <laughs> selfish dude, and uh, he pumped the the drinkable water in from the city into his. Um, into where his palaces were so that he could swim in it and he'd have pure water and so there were people outside of um, outside of his palaces that were starving and didn't have any uh, fresh drinking water and he had this what an ass well, you're at Saddam's palace to meet the general we're going, we're going into Saddam's palace here that's where we're going holy moly that's a big old A lot of the chandelier, I mean, that's really instead of that's like kind of like plastic. Is it really? It's yeah. really not like glass. <laughs> uh, you know, a lot of this stuff seems like it's marble. Some of it is, but most of it is kind of just imitation. Yasser Arafat used to be the head of the Palestinian Liberation Organization, and uh, he was friends with Saddam. And so what what uh, he did was he brought this chair and gave it to Saddam. You know, because on the border of Iran and Iraq, the, the population is basically your neighbors, you know, your, your relatives there. And, sure. and so one of the generals said, hey, we're, we're, we're uh, shooting scuds, missiles, at our family yeah. in Iran. We need to stop that. And Saddam didn't like that, so he said, General, good point. And he strapped him to a scud missile yeah. and launched it. <gasps> really? And oh. That palace looks like a little juicer on it. It's called the juicer. 